Okay, welcome to this first presentation in a series of presentations on using R for a real life data analysis project. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to look at the data set that I am going to be using. We are going to use the GSI, that's the Geological Survey of Ireland, GSI Groundwater Reports Data. And you might be able to find this on data.gov.ie. Actually, that's where you will find it. Okay. So what I'm going to do is, you know, download it, basically. I'm going to download it. I'm going to skip a few steps here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to download it uh, to my home directory, uh, my documents, data uh, documents, and I am going to have a look at it there. Okay. So this is my uh, um, documents area and I have this little file in here called GSI, that's Ge Geological uh, S uh, Survey of Ireland, okay? And now, I'm, uh, for the sake of brevity, I've only included just a couple of the spreadsheets in the data set, just to sort of keep it nice and simple and easy to follow, okay? But actually, if you were to open this data set, you would actually find much more than this. I just chopped it down just to make it a bit more manageable for YouTube. So what we have here is Excel S files or Microsoft Excel spreadsheets and here we have them for six uh, counties in Ireland. Okay, Mayo, Meath, Monaghan, Offaly, Roscommon and Sligo. So for the sake of um, argument. I'm going to go with one that has a nice easy name. I'm going to go with Mayo, County Mayo. CO is County, County Mayo, which is in the Northwest. So I'm going to use this data set. Now I'm just going to have it open. Uh, I'm going to open it up. Now I actually don't have Microsoft Excel on this computer so I'm going to cheat a bit and have it open in Google Docs. So when I click it open here, so this is what like if you have um, Microsoft Excel or if you have Google Docs or something like that and you want to look what the data set is about this is what we use. So now this is very important this is each of the six or each of the 26 uh, spreadsheets uh, have the same sort of setup as this. Now it's quite important to actually have a good read of what you're looking at here. So um, the first data, the first um, tab is just actually the metadata and actually what we have here, a little bit hard to find, uh, read, but you can just take my word for it, we're going to be seeing a lot of this over the next while, is just actually about when, of course, when the data was created, but here is the names of the variables. Okay. Now again, it's a little bit hard to read, so I'm not going to just I'm not going to read it here. You can actually download the data yourself and have a look at it in your own time. And what we're going to do here is so that's actually what the the metadata, it's a description of the variables and what they mean. Okay? So so far so good. Let's have a look at the next one. Okay? This is called Mayo AC 1 to 150. Okay. Not quite sure what that means. But it is data here. This is raw data here. Okay. The next one is 51 to 500 meters. Okay, something very similar there. And AC, Mayo AC 501 to 1 kilometer plus. Okay, so it's essentially what we have here is the same data, just stratified by different depths. So essentially, this is just, um, it's one big data set divided into three. That's the sort of thing we're going to have to consider in the long term. 1 to 150, 51 to 500 and 501 to 1 kilometer plus. Essentially what we have here is we have three as well. Okay, we're going to ignore this from now on. The first um, sheet is we're going to ignore it from now on. So we're going to look at for uh, sheets 2, 3 and 4. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to go to R. Okay. And what I'm going to do here is we are just to make it a little bit challenging. We are going to work with Excel spreadsheets, XLS. So I'm just going to make this a little bit easier to read now, just to sort of highlight uh, how I might do this actually, because people actually ask me all the time, how do you actually make this nice and big to read? I go to the GUI preferences, 14 bold should be fine. Okay. So far, so good. I'm just going to press Control L. 
Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is just check where is my current working directory. Okay, uh, users Kevin documents. That's sort of what I was expecting. Now just recall that my these my these data sets are located in a directory uh, inside that directory. They're in, uh, so they are direct located in GSI documents GSI. So I'm going to set working directory to uh, GSI in bracket in comma. There we go. Let's check. Are we in the right place? Get working directory. Okay, so we're going to work from here from now on. From now on, this is our working directory, GSI. All our files are in here. We'll put our output in here, okay? Really useful command is list files. Just to check uh, if you have what you expect to have. Perfect. Now, again, uh, for the sake of brevity, I just chopped it down to these six, just for the sake of brevity. So, but the, you would actually get much, uh, if you were to download the file, you would actually have much more in there. Okay, so, so far so good. We actually have our files in the current working directory, and we're sort of nearly set up. But what we need to do here is actually import a couple of those uh, data sets. Uh, into R so we can analyze them and clean them up a bit okay just actually what I'm going to sort of uh, remark upon oops is I'm going to go back to the data this groundwater data set and I'll just draw your attention to the fact that it's what they call a one star out of five so this is essentially um, there's a star system for open data and five is perfect really really good and one is not great, basically. Although I don't think we're going to have too much trouble here, okay? But probably in the real world, a lot of you, if you're familiar with this open data ranking system, of one star to five stars, quite interesting, a little bit outside the scope. But essentially, when it's a one star, it's going to be a little bit challenging to uh, find uh, uh, to work with. Okay, so back to R. So we have XLS files here. So when you're learning R for the first time, um, I'm going to do a little thing here called a comment, okay? That little symbol there, like a, a Twitter hashtag, means to, it's just a comment. So just so you can read it, it it's not a bit of code, it's just a little bit of comment. Uh, so that's what you would usually might 